Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look right here. Dude, I was so inspired by Jaclyn Hill's recent video. Like her entire look. She wore a pink beanie. I think so, yeah, a pink Gucci beanie. And she wore like a blonde wig with the gray sweater. And I don't know, she just looks so beautiful. And I had a wig lying around and I just got so inspired by watching her. I just kept looking at her. I was just like so mesmerized. And I'm just like, dude, I want to recreate this look. Not the look she put on, but I wanted to recreate that whole look. And I had a wig from Shein that I got from Halloween. It's gray in color. Uh, and it was all wrapped up and I was like maybe this is a good time let's go all grey instead of pink because I don't have pink and I bought this grey beanie from France so I had a grey sweater from Shein this is from Shein this is from Shein and I was like dude it's gonna look really icy and nice and I'm loving this look so much oh my god this is like the most simple look to do but it just brings your I don't know it enhances the way you look like all of this put together and this is just like a fun different uh, do you guys I'm not gonna obviously roam around with this look it's just something different to watch because when I saw her with the wig and beanie I'm like this is like refreshing it's good to see something new so yeah this is not my new look or anything but it's just something I wanted to try for the video purposes I might just sit and do like talking videos like this now because I think it makes me look really nice really cool uh, something fresh so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm just gonna jump into the tutorial. I did this. It's super simple. Uh, I really just wanted to... I'm heading out for a shoot actually and I really wanted to film this look. What do you guys think of this look? Should I invest in more wigs and get more beanies? I've been obsessed with beanies. I love it ever since my France trip. I'm wearing beanies in this Garmi Ka Mausam because it looks really cute. Alright, okay. Bye you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and leave your comment down below and let me know what you think of the look. I love you. Bye. Mwah. Hi guys, what's up? I'm so excited for this video. You want to see what's under my beanie? It's my half-assed wig because ain't nobody got time to stick it on properly. Um, I'm going to move on to the tutorial. Now to prep my skin, the first thing I'm going to do is take the Smashbox Primerizer. I have been using this uh, lately and it is so good. Actually not lately, I've been using this for a while. I finished one entire primerizer, can you believe it? It's beautiful to prep the skin. It's beautiful before makeup, for brides, for dry skin it's just amazing it's also very tacky and it helps the foundation stick uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and use a pore minimizing primer by Smashbox this is to uh, sort of minimize your pores so um, those areas are around my nose it could be your chin your cheek area so you want to pat it in and then I'm taking my max stroke cream in pink light I love this cream so much like it just gives you like a glass like effect your skin looks very healthy looking very glowy dewy like you can see and I'm all about the dew and then I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, concealer because this is my new foundation routine. Um, if you haven't watched it, uh, you can watch. It's like my the first video I did recently this year and it is like a full in-depth tutorial on my base routine and why I do what I do. So if you want to check that out, definitely do that. And yeah, I'm just going ahead and using concealer first to begin with because this gives me a very nice light base. And I'm just going to put uh, the shade Pure Beige first. Okay, I'm using like a sort of um, similar tone concealer. And I'm just blending that out all over my skin as far as the concealer can go. And honestly, uh, because of editing, you can't really tell how much I'm blending. But I actually spend a good 10 minutes on my base. For me, base is more important than the eyes. I know people take a lot of uh, time for the eye makeup. But I actually take a lot of time on my base. Um, I spend a lot of time buffing and blending the concealer and foundation into my skin so well that it's untraceable. I'm going to take a lighter concealer and put that on the same areas but a slightly lesser amount and I'm just going to brighten up that area. This is going to bring forward um, my under eye. It's going to make it look really nice and bright and beautiful. Um, yeah, just make sure you're spending time on blending your base really well. For foundation, I'm taking the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I'm in the shade Medium Olive and this is so good. Um, very lightweight and it's a, it's a very good drugstore foundation. Um, slightly expensive but so worth it because I feel like it gives you like the perfect finish. It's like a, it's not too matte, it's not too dewy, it's beautiful. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm just taking very little bit of that and I'm just going to complete my base makeup and blend it really well. You can see my black hair coming through. Yeah, um, but that's a secret. Only you and I know that I'm wearing a wig. Please don't tell anyone. Okay. Uh, to seal the deal, I'm taking the Maybelline Loose Powder. This is the Fit Me Loose Powder. It is so damn good. I really, really love this because um, it's been my favorite powder since one year now. I've been using this straight up. I really love it. I'm just going to take that and set my concealer and also set the rest of my face uh, with the same powder. So the damp sponge really, really melts the powder into the skin and it makes it look so flawless and airbrushed and beautiful if you haven't tried this technique really do um, very little powder on your damp sponge and put it all over your face to seal the deal now i'm going to uh, get rid of my creases and i'm just going to set my eyelids because we are going to go in with eyeshadow so i'm taking my k beauty k by katrina um brow pencil i think this is in the shade walnut if i'm not wrong or hazelnut either one and i'm just um doing my brows i'm having like trouble doing my brows i don't know why i haven't threaded them in a while but i just really really want thicker brows man like so you know i'm overdrawing that line like you can see see i'm doing it right now but i really want a thicker brow i think it looks so beautiful and frames the face so well um so yeah i'm trying to do my brows i'll get perfect at it don't worry all right so i'm taking a spoolie and sort of brushing it out making sure that it looks really natural air quotes <laughs> and yeah trying to level it for hours um and then we're gonna dust off our bake because we don't want the powder sitting for very long and then i'm gonna take my um viseart palette and i'm just going to take that neutral shade and i'm gonna put that in the outer corner i'm taking a big fluffy blending brush and i'm just going to buff the most product on the outer corner of the eye because you want the darkness to be on the outer corner and you want to leave the inner corner very bright and open i'm gonna take a smaller stiffer blending brush and i'm gonna pick up that uh, bright orange shade and I'm gonna put that also on the outer corner and I'm gonna blend it out for some color I'm taking another blending brush and I'm just blending it all around you want to make sure you're blending 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 blend till your hand falls off that's the motto I'm gonna take that neutral shade and I'm just going to take a pencil brush and put that on my lower lash and again focusing um, most of the products towards the outer corner you'll always see me start at the outer corner and take it towards the inner corner all the time that's my rule that's how I do my makeup so it looks really nice and cohesive and yeah I took that darker brown to just create some dimension to make it look really nice again on the outer corner I am taking the brighter shade, it's a cream color matte shade and I'm putting that in the inner corner uh, with a flat brush and this this will um, actually open up the eye, it'll make it look bigger. So if you have smaller eyes, you can use this trick and you can actually use a cream shadow on the inner corner and make it look big. And then I took that golden eyeshadow and I'm just putting it very, very loosely all around the eye. I'm not focusing it on the lid or one area. I'm not packing it in one area. I'm just giving like a very blown out glistening effect, like a wet eyeshadow look all over. For mascara, I'm taking the Bad Girl Bang mascara. It is so good. This is by Benefit, you guys. My lashes look at my lashes oh my god in my recent vlog i was like i don't know if i like it but dude i love the this mascara it is so worth it i highly recommend it it's expensive but it is so good like you're gonna get double your lashes uh okay so for blush i'm gonna pick up the patrick tar blush um this is such a beautiful blush oh my god um i love blush you guys so i'm literally wearing blush i'm just doing this step for like 10 minutes but obviously power of editing and all you can't see but i do put on a lot of blush <laughs> I'm taking a L'Oreal contour, like this is the bronzer and I'm just going to contour my nose with it. And I'm going to go over that with my beauty sponge to just soften both the lines. And I'm going ahead and taking another blush by Laurie London. I love this. It has a little bit of shimmer so I'm putting that on my cheeks. I load my face with blush you guys. Um, that's why it looks very fresh and very open and very like beautiful and princessy uh, i'm taking that mac bronzer and putting it on the outer corners of my face like you can see just on my temples and my cheek i'm not necessarily contouring my face i'm just adding some color some bronziness so it all comes together <laughs> And 
and then I'm going ahead and using the MAC pencil in Soar and Huda Beauty Power Bullet Lipstick in Wedding Day and I'm just going to line my lips I love this combination I use this in France and I loved how Wedding Day looked on my uh, lip it's actually a very bridal color that's why it's wedding day uh it's this really beautiful blend of mauve and pink it's like the perfect blend uh so yeah that's my lipstick choice for today and i'm gonna take the mac soft and gentle because i really wanted a soft highlighter it's a very beautiful again very bridal highlighter it's not very overpowering and intimidating it's very very beautiful and ethereal like you can see it's just so soft on the skin no matter how much you apply uh, so i'm putting that all over my skin so also on my cheek like you can see i'm popping it on the apples of my cheek so it looks very very nice and like overall it looks um put together so again highlighting my brow bone in a corner and making it brighter also putting a little bit on my body whatever is exposed i'm just gonna put a little bit of highlighter there I'm taking the Patrick Tars gloss. I love this gloss and if you want to go for the overall glossy look, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.